So each year, Andy pays into a savings scheme. In year one, he pays in £600, and his payments increase by £120 each year. So he pays £720 in the second year, £840 in the third year, and so on. So these payments form an arithmetic sequence. So they already told, they already told you what to do. So before we even solve this question, let's label A and, and D. We can say firstly, A is the, the first term, which is 600. And the common difference, D, is, is plus 120, because it's going up in 120s. So this is your first term and your common difference. So part A, find out how much Andy pays into the savings scheme in year 10. So in the savings scheme year 10, you just have to literally find out how much he gets in the 10th year. So in other words, U10 or Y10. And now I solved it down here already. First thing first, we need to know the general formula, which is quite easy, I think. It's always A plus N minus 1D for each year. And because we want the 10th year, this means N is 10. And because we already know the value of A and D, which is 620, let's just plug everything back in. And then you solve, expand, and voila, you get £1,680. So that's how much Andy got in that year. So pretty easy so far, I guess. Now here comes the main bit. So let's do this. So Kim starts paying money into a different savings scheme at the same time as Andy. Okay, so this is a totally different arithmetic sequence. In the first year, she pays 130. Her payments increase each year so that she pays 210 in the second year, 290 in year three, and so on. So they don't tell you the common difference here, but we have to realize that it's going up by 80 pounds every year. So we can say that D here is 180 for Kim, and if her first payment was 130. Okay, so that's that's the slight key differences here. Now at the end of year N, okay, so we don't know what year exactly, Andy has paid in total twice as much money into his saving than Kim has paid. So Andy has paid whatever Kim has times two. And yep, we go find value N. So I will start from this statement here, this, this second paragraph. So part B, what I said, at year N, we know that Andy paid two times the amount Kim paid. So this is this SN is the sum formula that I put here. So the total amount Andy paid equals two times the total amount Kim paid. Okay, and that's it. So this is pretty much our equation we work with. So all you do here, guys, is literally just find the sum for the, for the, the SN formula for Andy and SN formula for Kim, plug into this formula and solve for N. So let's do it. So we got all the variables we got for, what's it called, for Andy, we got A is 600 and D is 120. So the general sum expression, and by the way, this is, um, this is believe, I believe it's given in the formula sheet anyway, but I, I recommend you memorize this. So plug in the value for A and D, so you get 600 here and 120 there. Plug in capital, replace N with capital N, and I put D in front because it just looks neater that way. Then you just expand. So a quick way to expand this, guys, is to really just cancel out. Because you got N over 2 times 2 times 600, cancel the 2s and you got N times 600, 600 N. And you go n over 2 times this expression, 120 over 2 is 60, they cancel out. So n times 60 times all of this will give us 60n squared and 60n. And then collect like terms, which will give us 540n. And of course, plus 60n squared. So do the same for Kim as well, because this time Kim has a, a first term of um, 130 and a difference of 180 pounds. And you just repeat the method. Uh, God, 80 pounds, yep. Difference of 80 pounds. Plug it in and uh, you should be good to go. And doing that, you should get 40n squared plus 90n. Now, this is the main part. So once you guys come to this conclusion, put this back into the original equation here. So the sum of Andy would equal two times the sum of Kim. So it would be 60n squared plus 540n equal to two times this. So 80n squared plus 180n. And I put it here. Okay, so you guys should be here right now. And when you get here, literally just solve for n. And the best way to do this is probably throw everything on one side and make it equal to zero. So I just subtract, I just threw everything to the right side. So I got, so I subtracted 60n squared to get 20n squared, threw 540 across, and I got minus 360n overall. And all of that is equal to zero. Now this is easy. Divide 20 across to get n squared minus 18n. Factorize the n out, and you're left with two solutions. n equals zero, which is basically the payment in year zero, which we don't care about. Or n equals 18, meaning after 18 years, that's when, um, what's it called, Andy gets twice, pays twice as much as Kim. Now, this is the end of the solution. We found n is 18, but sometimes, you know, in the exam, there's a lot of pressure, especially these long questions. I would firstly plug n equals 18 back into the, 
into both of their formulas, into both the sum equation, just to see how much they really get in pounds. When I did that, I realized that after when I plugged n equals 18, turns out Kim actually made 14 paid 14,580 pounds, while Andy paid practically double 29,160. And to check this is exactly double, you can see that 2 times 14 times 14,580 is the same amount Andy paid. And voila, that's it. You don't have to do this bit, this is just a verification check for ourselves, just, just, to, just so we can see the figures that, um, ahead of us. But yeah, as long as you guys got this first statement done, then you did well. Anyway guys, um, yeah, so thanks for watching so far, and um, I'm going to move on to question 5 now.